What's up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This is your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, y'all. Before we get going on our video today, y'all smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. Follow me on Twitter as well, at KOBoxing86 TV. And if you have a breakdown or a prediction that you want me to do, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email address. Also, um, live shows, man. We got more live shows coming to y'all now, man. Ask and you shall receive. As this channel grows, we're going to continue having little changes and um, surprises for you. But for right now, live show every Wednesday night. That's our hot topic show where we discuss the hottest topics in boxing. We open up panels, um, and, we, and we get it popping on Wednesday nights at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. We got our breakdown and our prediction show that we do every Friday night for that week's fights. Um, that show is every Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. If we have fights that, that happen to be on Friday, we're probably going to drop videos during the week for those Friday night fights. And then the prediction show will actually be for the fights that are that weekend on Saturday. Uh, so that's how we're going to do it. But that show, the other show, Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And then our last show of the week to wrap up the week, talk about everything that happened in boxing that week. That's with the singing OG, KQKC Boxing Network. We go live together every single Sunday morning, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. But let's get to the video, man. So Keith Thurman is confusing people. Telling the truth, we're hating, man. And it's it's a bad thing. Um, and boxing fans do this too. And so I wanna I wanna talk to y'all a little bit, man. There is a difference between constructive criticism, telling the truth, and hating on a fighter, bro. So Terrence Bud Crawford, right? If I say, if I say, look, man, Terrence Crawford made a mistake re-signing with Bob Aaron. Or I say, look, man, I don't feel like Terrence Crawford has done everything he can do to try to get the Earl Spence fight or try to get a big fight, period. I think he can do more. I think he should be saying this. I think he should be saying that. If I say that, you have, I'm going to call y'all fanboys. I'm going to be nice because my wife came up with a term for, for fanboys. It's disrespectful. I'm going to say that. <laughs> I'm going to say that. I'm going to call y'all fanboys. But a fanboy be like, oh, bro, you hating on Terrence Crawford. If I say some things like that, like like what I just mentioned, those are constructive criticisms, though, y'all. Those are constructive criticisms. Same with Canelo Alvarez. If I say, look, man, I don't like the Laguna Beach Macadamia Nut fight, I think there's better fights. I think there's other things he can be doing. His fanboys will say I'm a hater, bro. Same with Javante Tank Davis. Hey, man, I think there's better opponents for him. You know, Isaac Pitbull Cruz and Javante Davis, that wasn't a pay-per-view fight to me. It turned out to be a good fight, but why do we have to pay for that? If you're going to ask us to pay for something in advance, give us the big fights. Give us the product that we want. Mayweather Promotions. Oh, man, you hating on Floyd. You hating on Mayweather Promotions, man. You hating on another brother, bro. You hating on Tank. Why? Because I have something constructive of things that I think they can be doing better. That's not hating. And now Keith Thurman is trying to fall into this category. And I don't like that shit, bro. We will never get what we want. If we don't keep it real and I'm tired of living in a society, specifically a boxing community where telling the truth is the new hate and capping is the new real. If I say, yo, Ryan Garcia be lying and shit. I don't believe nothing he say, bro. He always lying. He always capping. Oh man, you just hating on Ryan Garcia, bro. Why they always hating on Ryan Garcia? I got so many haters. Like, come on, dog. Ain't nobody hating on you. These is facts. You be lying a lot, dog. Same with Tiafimo Lopez. Oh, you don't like Tiafimo Lopez? You hating on T.O. Why? Because I'm saying that he don't had a he didn't have a belt that, that Josh Taylor and Clarissa Shields and Evander Holyfield and Canelo Alvarez had. He don't have that belt to become undisputed. So I'm saying he ain't the champion. So I'm hating on him for telling the truth. That shit's sad, bro. And Keith Thurman is falling into the same boat. Let's talk about it. Keith Thurman says, Thurman is not done. For all those who think Thurman is done, I'm not done. See, first of all, it takes more effort to say Thurman than I'm not done. Anytime somebody talking in the third person, 
You know they about to say some arrogant shit or they gonna be delusional, bro, and not be in touch with reality. Let's keep going, though. He says, I'm 33 years old. I don't got 33 more in me, but I got plenty more good years in me. I'm going to put it blood, sweat, and tears in the ring. It all starts this year, 2022, on February 5th. Mario Barrios, let's go. People can say what they want about Keith Thurman. You wouldn't even know Keith Thurman was talking, but that's him saying his name, just so you know. He didn't say people can say what they want about me. He said people can say what they want about Keith Thurman. Okay. All right, bro. You, you, you the third person king. Got you. Unless you know something about me, you don't know anything about me. All right. I know, I know a lot about you. We're going to get to it, though. He says, this is my life. This is what I do. This is my passion. Boxing is my American dream come true. Being on Fox Network is my American dream come true. Entertaining the fans and getting criticism from all those other people, all that clickbait material is my dream come true. So I don't hate on the haters. I appreciate that they still have time to talk about me. And I appreciate that they doubt me because your doubt motivates me. I do this for you. I do this for me. I do this for Martin Luther King because I'm living a dream. I love the sport of boxing. And I think it's one of the most beautiful sports, one of the most complex sports, one of the most hardest sports in the world. That's why it's one of the only sports that demand pay-per-view. All right. Let me see if we got anything else. He's talking about worrying about being damaged. Okay, let's talk. He says, we demand it because athletes put so much on the table. They put themselves out there to accumulate damage. All other sports have found a way to reduce the contact in the sport. Not boxing, not UFC, because we are the original contact sport. All right. I think that's all I want to get to. Yeah, that's all I want to get to. So, Keith Thurman doesn't understand why people are doubting him. And if you doubt him, he considers you a hater. But I don't hate on you, bro. I don't think it's hate. I think it's, it's logic. I think it's sound analysis. To have questions about whether or not Keith Thurman is going to be able to perform in his next situation, in his next bout. Keith Thurman has had four fights in six years. We can count them. That's the first thing, your inactivity, right? Boxing is a game of, of time, and it's a, it's a, it's a game of being, being, being active, right? Being able to take damage. So let me make sure I'm not tripping. 2015... 2015 to 2022. We got Luis Colazo, Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, Jose Cito Lopez, and Manny Pacquiao. So that's one, two, three, four, five. My bad. Not four fights in six years. He's had five fights in seven years, bro. So you're highly inactive. From 2017 to 2019, you didn't fight. From 2019 now to 2022, you have not fought yet. So, and plus you've had injuries. So if, if I'm doubting you, it's because of your inactivity. If I'm doubting you, you used to be one time Thurman, but you stopped one fighter in your last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fights. You got one stoppage victory in your last seven fights and that was with Luis Colazo. And I understand that as you step up in competition, you fighting at the championship level, you're not gonna stop anybody. But your skills have diminished. You didn't look the same against Manny Pacquiao. And last I checked, very rarely, if ever, do fighters get better the older that they get. Very rarely, if ever, do fighters get better the more inactive that they are. Now, does that mean I'm hating on Keith Thurman? Because these are facts. These are facts. Staying sharp, staying active, staying healthy, being young, those are advantages in the sport of boxing. You'll get a lot of picks right just looking at the age gap to keep it a buck with y'all. You will get a lot of picks right in the sport of boxing just looking at the age gap. If two fighters are on relatively the same level and you see one is five years younger, you'll get a lot of those picks right whether it be at the prospect level, whether it be at the contender level, whether it be at the championship level, or whether it be at the journeyman level. You will get a lot of picks right looking at, okay, he's 25 and he's 33. I'm going to pick the 25-year-old to win. 
You get a lot of picks right that way, bro. So, doubting the fact that he's been inactive, doubting the fact that he's been injury prone, and the fact that when he was active, he he was starting, people were starting to be able to take his power better. Hey, bro, you gonna have to show us. You gonna have to show us, but this new wave of, of truth being the new hate or constructive criticism being the new hate, that shit gotta stop, bro. It gotta stop. We gotta be able to be fair. We gotta be able to expect more of our fighters. We gotta be able to call a spade a spade. And quit fanboying and quit quit taking up for these fighters when they don't deserve it. Because that's how you tr show that you're a true fan. I've said this several times and I'll leave y'all with this, bro. I've said this several times and I'll leave y'all with this. If you're a fan of somebody, I'm a huge fan of my family. I want them all to do well. If you're a fan of somebody, it's your job as they fan to let them know when they messing up. It's just that simple. If you don't, then you ain't a true fan. You 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 what we call a fanboy. You what we call somebody an enabler, right? A yes man. There's a difference between a fan and a yes man. A yes man will be like, will take up for you even when you're wrong. Won't say shit to you even when when you're wrong because they think that that's somehow supporting you. No, a person that really supports you gonna be like, look, bro, that's wrong. You should do this and you should do that. And if you truly support Keith Thurman, you would tell him, look, bro, um, you got to get it together. People are doubting you because you ain't, you've been inactive, so you need to take training camp serious. You need to work your ass out because you have been inactive, Keith. You ain't, you ain't been doing shit. You ain't looked the same against Pacquiao. You got, you, this is your cut. You got to be ready. That's what a real supporter would do for him. Point blank period. So that's my thoughts on his on his comments, man, in the situation. You know, looking forward to this fight February 5th. It's coming quick. Um, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, that's a tougher pick than a lot of people think. That's a tougher pick than a lot of people think. We'll see what happens though. We'll see what happens though. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Comment down below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications, follow me on Twitter at KO Boxing86 TV. Also, um, email me. Um, if you got a breakdown or a prediction you want me to do, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email address. Um, and then last but not least, man, live shows Wednesday nights, 7.30 p.m., Friday nights, 7.30 p.m., and Sunday mornings with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. But I appreciate y'all watching the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out of here. Peace, y'all.